The world is dangerous, and sudden death awaits those who are unprepared, unwary, or unlucky. Calamity may strike in the form of life-threatening illness or injury, natural disaster, or a murderous enemy. In imagining the policeman's world, I am reminded of what Quentin Skinner once said in explaining Thomas Hobbes' view of human nature. In the war of all against all, you are constantly liable to sudden death. Kun Pan was accountable for what he had done, but so far as I have been able to discern, he was immune from legal action. Some of his actions, such as desecration of human remains after an outlaw had been fatally shot, were brutish and shocking by any measure. But in the police culture at the time, such disrespect was not worthy of disciplinary action. The police, part of the state's armor of coercion, have legal sanction to use lethal force. Kun Pan was doing his job in keeping with his name. Kun Pantarak Rajade means duty bound to protect the power of the monarch. Episodes in his life and elements of his, per his persona are manifest in political authority in Thailand today, especially when that authority wears the uniform of the soldier or policeman or policewoman. He surrounded himself with an aura of apprehension by cultivating a persona, a representation of himself that exceeded his actual person. No human being could have done all these things in just the way they are attested, we want to say. Yet legends grow and flourish at the edges where events, people, and places fade into the shadows. In the policeman's case, it is as if we are viewing him through smudged spectacles or smoky glass. When Kun Pan's sons asked their father if he had sinned by killing human beings, his reply sounded like the same story filtered through different memories. Nasan, the elder son, said his father accepted that he might end up in Hades. And if that happened, he would have a chat with Yama, the lord of the underworld, and try to work something out. To Chun Tip, the younger son, the father replied similarly. When he arrived in Hades, he would be offering Yama his assistance in sorting things out down there in the nether realm. He drew his strength from the Sayasat masters who taught him, from his abilities as a warrior, from the shield that his uniform provided him, and from the lands and waters of his birthplace. There are features of his life that seem to belong to an earlier time, something even traditional about him, though I hesitate to use that hoary term, and maybe even something unmodern about him. All this stuff about Sayasat and magic belongs in an undeveloped rural sector that is fast disappearing with the rising middle-income villagers and rural workers and their use of mobile phones, the internet, Facebook, and Twitter, or so the argument would go. But after spending quite a lot of time with him, I wouldn't agree with this line of thinking. Kunpan's legacy is very much evident in the mentality of the modern Thai police force.